Do I have to say please every time? No. Okay, good. All right, coming up into the lair. Oh, oh, you caught me with little David, my bobblehead. These are available for $4 million on eBay. That's cool, isn't it? Hey, listen, thanks for stopping by In the Lair. In the Lair is a segment that we're going to be showing you every week. And basically what we want this segment to be about is things that you're interested in as an engineer, as a mixer, as a producer. And send your questions in to us. Uh, we'll tell you at the end of the show, again, uh, all the different ways you can get in touch with us. Let me know anything you want to know. Um, and I'll try and have a segment on it. On today's segment, we're not going to get in a lot of detail, but in the future, I'm going to talk to talk to you about parallel compression, about how to deal with a two bus, your stereo mix, the things I use, the things I know my friends use. Uh, a lot of detail. I'm actually going to show you presets and, and uh, techniques that I've used on on some of the records that you you know me for and. Uh, in general, I think this is going to be a segment that's going to be my favorite segment. So, today what I wanted to do was, there's some new stuff that's out. I just wanted to make you aware of that and just kind of set the groundwork for what, what, what we're going to do in the future. Now, next week, uh, I haven't decided yet, but I, I'm either going to talk to you about parallel compression or about how I deal with a, with a, with a stereo bus. And, um, I, you know what, let's commit. Let's do the stereo bus next week and uh, I'm going to expand it. I just read a, a, an amazing article about Michael Brower and I realized that, that there's some things I do a lot like him and uh, I mean Michael's one of the best so I'm not trying to say that I do anything like him but what I'm saying is some of his approaches in the analog world uh, I've kind of got some techniques I've been using in the digital world that you might be interested in so that's next week. And then uh, we're going to have another great guest for you next week. Uh, there's a couple of people I want to get on the show. And anyway, we'll talk about that later. But right now, let me show you something. This is, the, this is a plug-in that I'm really excited about. This is the new C6 plug-in from Waves. Um, let me load up one of the presets that I, I, I've been experimenting with. I like this preset. It's called Electronic uh, Drum Kit. This thing is amazing. Basically, think of it as um, six equalizers that, that, that not only can you control gain and bandwidth and select the frequency, but you can compress within that frequency range. It's a very, very, very powerful tool. I'm telling you, this is a really good plug-in. Another new plug-in that I like by Waves is uh, my buddy Tony Maserati. He's got a series that that uh, is just musical. It just works. It's really an amazing series of plugins. This is a this is the one uh, that that's the vocal plugin, and I find that just about everything on it's usable. Another new plugin I want you to check out is this Chris Lord Algae plugin. This is the vocal, and also I just mixed. Uh, uh, I just mixed a, a, a Gloria Trevi and Paulina Rubio record, two amazing, amazing artists from, from Latin America, uh, two of my favorite artists, uh, a record written and produced by my friend Sebastian, uh, amazing producer. Everything's amazing today, I guess you've noticed. But uh, anyway, uh, Sebastian had this plug-in on the session when I got it, and I knew it was a great plug-in, but he had tweaked it, and it was really, really something that made my life a lot easier and as all you know that know me really well that's a very important goal in your life that you should make it a priority. Another plug-in that I'm just really thrilled about is this DSP plug-in. This is brand new. Uh, they call it the 6030. Uh, this show's going to air, this show airs Thursday. Saturday will be the NAMM show. Colin's going to talk about this plug-in so We'll find out, but this is basically, uh, uh, you get all these different compressors in one, and what Colin has tried to do is he's tried to, uh, not tried, but what he's done is he's developed a plug-in that you can get all these different classic compressors at your fingertip, but not only do you get the classic compressor, but you get a McDSP take on those compressors. So. 
if you want to have the exact compressor, go buy the damn thing. If you want something better, grab this. And if you can't afford six or seven or ten Fairchilds, uh, what are they now? Sixty grand a piece. So if you don't have six hundred thousand dollars for ten Fairchilds, grab this plug-in. I think it only goes for about four hundred thousand. But anyway, I'm gonna run through these real quick. Uh, Zan, if you can check this out, this is this is amazing. So this is this is uh, another one. This is another one. This is, is, as you can guess, this is probably the something like an LA-2A. This looks like a 33609 to me. This looks like a the DBX 150 something or other. Anyway, you get all of these compressors. I mean, that's amazing. Email Colin when you buy this and just say that, that, that I sent you and he'll give them to you for, I'm sure, 30, 45 cents. He, he makes so much money, you know. Actually, that brings up a good point. Don't be, don't be, don't be using crack stuff. Speaking of Colin, my buddy, this is a plug-in that that's not. I wouldn't call this new, but what I would call it is one of the newer ones that a lot of people don't know about. This plug-in is called Futzbox. It will emulate pretty much anything on earth that that creates a sound. And what I, what 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 I use this for is to add harmonics and color to a sound. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's truly amazing. You gotta check this out. Uh, this plugin uh, is, uh, is by my friend Stephen Slate. I heard this at the, at the AES show this year, and this thing is, is truly, truly amazing. Uh, another one of my friends, Fabrice Gabriel, uh, worked on this also. If you get a chance, check out Fabrice's plugins. They're called IOSIS, E-I-O-S-I-S. -E -I -I They're good too. This thing, uh, I'm not going to say it, it replaces the mastering process, but it's about as close as you're going to find. It's really, really good. It's a compressor that uh, it's a lot like L2. It gives you a few more options. They're both amazing. L2 is now so popular, it's become a verb. You L2 something, you know, it's a verb now. But this plug-in does something similar, but gives you a little more control and a different feel, a different sound if you want another option. I love this plug-in. And then this is my go-to replacement plug-in that, that Stephen also makes. Stephen Slate, he calls this trigger. You can, you can load one, two, three, four, five, six different sounds and trigger those sounds at different velocities. This thing does more than, than I can explain to you right now. Go to the website, check that out. Um, okay, and, and last, I wanted to show you this because I see this as a direction that we should encourage the plug-in manufacturers to go in. This is Alchemist by Flux. This thing just confused the heck out of me when I first pulled it up. Um, you got to remember, I come from the days of the 163 DBX compressor that has one knob on it, more. Well, this, this has a, a few more than one knobs. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 knobs, that's a lot of knobs for the money. And, and they're good looking knobs too. As if you're an engineer, you know how important good looking knobs are. But this thing is hard to describe. It's uh, it's a compressor, it's an equalizer, but it does so much more. It, it, I don't know how to describe it. I've been using it for a few days and, and I, I, I would like for you guys to give me some feedback on this thing. Tell me if I'm crazy. I, I, I like a piece of gear that, that, that when I send a sound to it, I get back something better than what I send. If I, if this concept of sending something to a piece of gear and getting back what you send, that's kind of boring. Hey Zan, come over here and look. I've got a, I've got a buddy, his name is uh, Peter Montesi. He has a company called A Designs. Please, please check them out. Peter makes the nail, he makes the uh, hammer, uh, compressor, and, uh, and an equalizer. Uh, they're very unique. They, they fill a, a really neat gap and, and void in what's available out there. These are a couple of little 500 series pieces that he makes. I hope you can see them in the light. But this, if you look at closely, you'll notice that, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get a close up for you, Zan. Can you see that, Zan? Is it upside down? No, good. <laughs> if you'll notice, it's a damn little bitty tiny 
uh, pull tag. Look at the knobs. It's just like pull, everything's identical to a pull tag. So Dave, does it sound exactly like a $6,000 pull tag for uh, a tenth the price? No. But I got, I got a bunch of pull tags. I don't need that. I need this. This is a cool piece of gear because a lot of us now have an empty spot in our 500 series racks and this fits right into the same uh, racks that the APIs fit into and the B&Bs and a bunch of other stuff. But I, I've used this. I've used this on several records. What did I use it on? I used it on a Brandy mix and a Keisha Cole mix. Yeah, it, it's really, it's really cool. Check it out. Uh, I think you're going to like this. Like I said, don't expect it to be exactly like a pull tech, but hope for something better. So uh, I wasn't disappointed when I tried this. And then this is their compressor module. Be honest with you, I haven't talked to Peter if this emulates something in the real world. All I know is, is, is this thing is really good too. I like it. Um, the places where I would use um, oh, an Avalon compressor, the places where I'd use, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, try it. Try it, you'll like it. It's, um, it's good on vocals. It's good on drums, kicks and snares. It's great on on keyboards and stuff like that. You'll really like it. So that's pretty much what we're going to do today. Like I told you, you got my word. The next the next uh, into the lair sessions, we're going to really uh, we're going to really get deep. So 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 this is the segment for the hardcore people. We we've got some segments coming up uh, that that you're going to like that that still have information. But if you're just starting out, uh, this, this segment is going to be the segment for you. If you've been engineering and you have a trillion platinum records, I think you'll find this segment also uh, valuable. You might learn something too. So uh, in the future, we might have, well, not might, but we are going to have some guests just exclusive to this segment. So, so I don't want you to be bored with what I do, but we're going to bring in some other engineers and have them talk about some of their spe specific techniques. Anyway, thank you so much, and uh, back